Well, good morning. And today you find us at Kilowaris campsite in Cornwall. And we're back from France. We've had a couple of days at home and then we've come down for the Dub Club Halloween event. I think it's going to be fun. We're Mark and V, and this is our adventures. Well, I didn't get to do any filming last night because uh, we got down here and it started raining. Um, so we all sort of sheltered under an event shelter and the rain got worse and worse to the point it was thunder and lightning. Um, the rain was so heavy. I think possibly it was what you call a thunderstorm. No, that sounds wrong, doesn't it? A thunder rainstorm. The rain came down so much. My awning, I was out. And it filled with water and it nearly broke the awn and it was that much rain. Looking out there now, the sky is beautifully blue. So um, I think we're going to have a good day. You have a look outside. I'll take you for a, a tour around the park in a little while. So you can have a look and see what this is. This park is owned by friends of ours, Josie and Steve. It's a really nice park. If you want to book this one, you need to book it really early. I'll put the details of our campsite down in the details below, so if you do want to book them up. So we're starting off the day with a walk. That's been organised by Lynn. And she's going to lead the way down there. Um, I'm not quite sure where we're going, but I think there's a pub involved at the end of it. So we're doing this lovely muddy track at the moment. And just turn it round. You can see V just up ahead, and members of the club are all down there, you can see. Really heavy rains last night, which uh, made it all very soggy. think it could be so beautiful this morning after it was so bloody horrible last night so a little bit about the area Kiliwaris campsite is about a mile off Chiverton Cross roundabout now if you've come ever come down to Cornwall and you've gone to Parampour or gone further on down into Cornwall like Penzance, Helston, Lizard you would have come across Chiverton Cross roundabout it's the one that's always got queues We're going to walk across a railway line. And I think I can hear a train coming. Is, uh, certainly quite muddy and sloppy, but um, you know, as I said earlier, that's the <laughs> rain from last night. We're coming into winter, so it's, everything's going to get a bit muddy now. But what a beautiful day! It certainly wouldn't have been any good if it was like yesterday, all the rain. I believe we've got rain coming in later, but we're going to have a bit of a Halloween themed day. We've managed to lose the rest of the group. We don't know quite where we're going now. So uh, we come to the bottom of a hill, and it turned left and it turned right. Uh, we flipped a coin, and we've turned left. So we're coming down here, and there's another turning left and right. <laughs> so, so we're gonna turn right on this one, are we? So 
So we're coming down over the hill. There's another turn in left and right. So we're going to turn right this time. Yeah, they could. That's what they could have done, on it? Left, left little markings on the road. Jovial Security. Jovial Security. Who's happy now? Spit all over the table, isn't it? Come on, we need a bit of professionalism here. No, no, no. Honey, what tells you to be serious? Come on, Jason. Come on. You can do it. Three, two, one, action. Hang on, hang on. It's not going to happen, is it? You can make, you can make them. You have to do an like, take video for this one. <laughs> that was nearly okay until she laughed. Oh, yeah, because I need to do a dirty look after yeah. that, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> Jovial Securities, who's happy now? Waking up to my heartbeat, accompanied by the rain. The soreness in my eyes is not very surprising. This room is still uncharted. Well, I believe there's a few things that are going to happen this afternoon. I think we're having the best dressed van, a quiz, a scavenger hunt. So there's a few bits and pieces going to go on. And then obviously, yeah, we're going to have a bit of party tonight. Give me some time to breathe. Give me some time to speak. Because I know the truth inside. And I promise you this time, no overvow. No more strange, stupid games. Just one part of it's a great thing to be just in the country and see all this beauty. We look in the distance, you can see the main line into Cornwall. Train just going past. That's the railway line we walked across earlier. I believe we're going to have to walk across that soon. Out in the crossroads, trying to make out where to go. You're left without warning And now you're ignoring me So what about us? What about all we had? Just send me an SOS I'll run to you fast So we're back at Kilowaris campsite And uh, everybody's just going to chill out for an hour Before we um, start the quiz and all the other bits and pieces And if I turn around I can give you a quick sort of look around you start there first, you see the Bees Beetle and uh, Susie, our camper van. And uh, I wander around. Like I said to you before, it's quite a small campsite, but it is a beautifully laid out campsite. The facilities are excellent. Very, very chilled here. And Steve and Josie, the owners, are a great couple. Now, we look over there, you see the old caddy. And they're sporting a top box as well. 
we're gonna have a look at her in a minute. Got dog washing facilities, you know, places to wash up with. Even people. Oh, it's so clean. It's so I feel, clean. I feel so clean. I am so clean. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> we have chemical waste as well, and there's also facilities to wash your chemical waste out, which is quite rare. As we come up through, they got disabled facilities. Let's see reception over there. And as we go inside to the main facilities, you can see we have the male and female toilets and shower rooms. And in the laundry room, there are two washing machines, a tumble dryer and sinks. There's always hot water. It's very pleasant. The showers, I've got to say, are absolutely brilliant. Possibly some of the best showers I've used on a campsite. Well, we went to the pasty shop on the way, and then we brought pasties back. And they... Pasty. Oh, there's only one pasty. And V has got... Oh. Now, I should have known that. What is that, V? That looks lovely. Cherry and coconut slice. She'll tell us what it's like in a minute. Now, I've got a pasty. And... And there's the pasty. You know... I like my pasty, but you'll also know that I'm very critical if it's a good pasty or a bad pasty. I don't like my pasties hot either. I like them tepid. So we'll see. I'll tell you in a minute. I'm going to have a bite now. Yeah, the crust is very good. That's going to taste of the proper pasty. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Well, I'm going to enjoy this pasta now. Mm. And I'll see you in a little while. So the pasty was absolutely divine. Probably the best pasty I've had in a long time. And I'm, I'm quite critical of pasties. That was um, from the bakers in the centre of Chase Water. I really didn't get the name, so it's a mistake of mine. If you have. But if you're in Cornwall and you're in Chase Water, at a yellow sign, that's what I can tell you. But the pasty was absolutely the best I've tasted for a long, long time. Now I'm eating this um, cherry slicer. It's cherry and coconut, I think it is. Slice. Well, <laughs> that's lovely as well. Really, really nice. Mmm. Classic Mark Wines style. That is all really great. If you don't know who Mark Wines is, you need to look him up. Mm. Mm. Brilliant. Absolutely lovely.
Good morning. And um, we had a great night last night, up to about midnight when the uh, winds came in. And oh my, did it come in. We had to take down all the awnings really quickly. So you would have probably seen in earlier footage the awnings and the you know, event shower that we had set up. Well, it was so strong, we had to get it all down. We'd all had a few beers, and uh, it was um, panic stations. Pretty much every awning on the site had to be taken down. I think there was only one left standing at the end, next morning. But that's it for the weekend. We finished, you know, we're packing up now. And we're going to head off to a place called Smoky Joe's. It's quite a famous cafe in Cornwall, and they do pretty amazing breakfast, apparently. So I've never been there. And um, we're going to go down there shortly, so um, I'll show you my breakfast when we get there. So we've made it here to Smoky Joe's, and uh, there's a, quite a queue to go in, so we're going to um, wait for a little while. But um, I'm assured it's well worth it. Um, maybe if I turn the camera around. Just by the, the queue of people, you, you, know, you know it's going to be something fairly decent. I've decided I'm going to go for the Hungry Man's breakfast, which um, every, everybody um, recommends. And after we've had that, we'll travel home, and um, that'll be the, the weekend. So, um, we're just waiting to be served now. And our friends have already got theirs because they got here a little bit earlier. So we've had the Hungry Man's delivered, and that looks immense. Veggie over there. Thanks very much. So that, that's the Hungry Man's. V, what have you got? You got the... Yeah, thank you very much. That's a large one. That's a large, so... So V's having a large. You got a large as well, V? And Josie is having the vegetarian. I've got veggie with a flipped so egg, double sausage. Flipped egg and double sausage. <laughs> and Earl Grey tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that looks extremely tasty, so yum yum. Well, I'm beaten. Didn't manage to eat it all. <laughs> that was major. However, I did eat most of it, so I lied a little. <laughs> well worth, well worth coming here, though. Well worth coming. And something we have noticed on the menu: you can actually camp here overnight and get a, a meal off a special board and a tea or coffee, all for twenty pounds. Or you can go just up the road to Kilowaris and camp there. <laughs> That's what Josie says, isn't it, Josie? <laughs> In luxury, with nice showers. <laughs> well, that's another weekend over. And um, I'm on my way home now. I'm on my own in the van because uh, V took the Beetle this weekend. So, um, and I forgot to set up a camera in the windscreen, so I've got to stop to do the final bit. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, Please give us a thumbs up. You know, every week I'm seeing a few more people subscribing. It's great seeing you all join in our journey. Anyway, to the next video. We'll see you very soon. Bye. Away from me.